because you went to Kilimanjaro and you took people who were ill, people who could hardly walk and stuff. And you Amazing, what, what I can hours. teach now, yeah. How long did it take to teach them to do to go this walk Just four you? afternoons. <laughs> imagine, imagine. Uh, 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 take the comparison. What physiologically is possible in mountaineering and uh, say the Kilimanjaro, which is almost six kilometers high, takes about five to nine days fully dressed with a lot of layers because it's very cold up there. Yeah. And then still it takes five to nine days and then only 40% will succeed. Summit. Yes. Those are the numbers. We did it. And uh, we did it in 20 and a half hour, uh, hours. That is four and a half hours more than one day. In short, and wait a minute, and not only me, the oldest participant without former experience in mountaineering, suffering from Lyme's disease, he did it in 31 hours in his shorts. He has no Lyme's disease anymore. He has a deep connection inside. He used his mind consciously and his breathing. And he did it. 76 years old, suffering from Lyme's disease. In short, no former experience in mountaineering. He did it. He's healing a lot of people with Lyme's disease right now because he found this deep connection. How many days did I train with them? Four afternoons. And I say, you better do your homework. That means you do some running and uh, you go uh, and challenge yourself. Follow your feeling because the Kilimanjaro is going to come. Yeah. And it's going to kill you. It's going to torture you if you didn't do well within your homework. And they all understood. Yeah. It was not only here where people with cancer, there were people with Crohn's disease, arthritis, with asthma, with depression. All one thing in common they had. That was motivation, that there is more than meets the eye. Mm -hmm. And they all did it. 